Big River FM, you're of Hales. It's 22 minutes past one. So I have on the line Jeremy Redmore. He is the original front man of Midnight Youth and he is starting his solo career. How are you, Jeremy? I'm great, thanks. How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. So whereabouts are you at the moment? Oh, I'm just at home in, in Auckland. It's so, a nice um, day today? It's a beautiful day, actually. I've been out for a little walk today and, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to... One of these people that's lucky enough to work from home, so I get to just sort of have a walk, come back, do some more work, and then keep it going. So if it's sunny, it always makes the day a bit better. Yeah, definitely. Well, it sounds like a pretty good day so far. So back in July, you released your first solo album, and has it been planned for a while to start putting out your own music? Um, it, well, it wasn't for a long time because, you know, I was... I was fully committed to Midnight Youth and uh, that was that was my dream and that was the dream of all five of us in the band to, yeah. basically the dream is to, to be in that band for as long as you can be um, and uh, I was in that band for a good six almost seven years so uh, we gave it a pretty good shot and then um, and then uh, we got to a point where it got got a bit stale and, and it got a bit negative and people were always sort of fighting and didn't really have any yeah. goals for the band, so I actually went off and recorded a couple of solo songs, and everyone knew about that. And um, about six months later, I actually left the band. So um, it was a, it was, that was in the middle of 2012, so yeah. it's, it's been a couple of years since uh, recording those first ones before the actual album came out. Oh, awesome as. And just recently you actually put out a new music video called One Day Alone, and I'm really enjoying the song. How was the process of putting all that together? Thanks, yeah. Um, it was a, it's a sort of a crazy concept. So we, we used seven different directors, and they all had 29 seconds of the song, yeah. and we gave them the song without the lyrics, so they couldn't do anything literal. And all we gave them was a, a word to, to start the clip with and end the clip with. So the first director got glasses and um, breakfast. The second one got breakfast and then wine. The third one got wine and then dog. And so mm. it was a con- supposed to be a connection through those words and the imagery that they would then use that would connect each clip. Oh, so yeah. it goes through seven different clips and they're, they're filmed in like Sao Paulo, London, um, Montreal, yeah, crazy places. And yeah. it's one of the that I'm in as well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I really love it. It's so different. It's, you, don't, you don't see that usually with most music videos these days, to be honest. No, well, it was quite a bit of, big experiment, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I've done a few bits and pieces like that around this project, so it was quite satisfying that it came together and it's something that, that I'm pretty proud of. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah, so what are your thoughts of um, being now a solo musician versus your old band, Midnight Youth? Because you did say there were, like, fallouts and stuff, but do you miss any of it? Oh, absolutely. You do miss being part of a gang and part of a team and having people that, that you know, to, to, to support you, you know, through the downs and to share the moments when you're having a, having a good run. So you definitely do miss that. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, if, um, if that dynamic changes and for, you know, for whatever reason, you know, for us it was... Pretty, it was just for us. It was just a time thing. We didn't have a, a big dramatic fallout or anything. It was just kind of we were just sick of each other. We spent the last two and a half years living together, and it was just a bit too much. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm still mates with all the guys, and I, I catch them up and catch up with them, and, and they're all doing great. But um, it's um, it's just a different thing. And you know, being by myself, I'm able to do these sort of creative projects, like with the video, and um, and yeah, all the responsibility is on me as well. So it's um. It's fun in that sense to try out new things, uh, but it's, there's definitely pros and cons to each situation. Oh, definitely, most definitely. That's awesome to hear. So, can we expect in the upcoming months of any performances in any towns? Well, I'm actually committed myself to a bit of a crazy new challenge. So, I'm um, I've taken a role in the Auckland Theatre Company, yeah. Jesus Christ Superstar. So, oh, cool. I'm. That is going to be consuming everything for the rest of the year, basically. Okay. Um, so I'm playing a couple of, you know, uh, private shows, um, but it's all going to be early next year, and at the moment there's nothing I can really announce. So um, I will be playing shows early next year, but for now I'm, I'm going to be in Auckland performing as part of this uh, theatre oh, show. Oh, that sounds it's, so exciting. Oh, yeah, it, it's, I'm very excited. I'm a little bit, a little bit freaked out, to be honest, because I haven't done anything like that since... 
I was about 17. Yeah, so, back um, in the day, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm totally not professional in that realm, so it's going to take a lot of learning, a lot of practicing, so good challenge, and I'm looking forward to having that dynamic of being part of a, a group and part of a team again. Awesome, as Well, thanks for the talk, Jeremy. It's good to hear no from you. No worries, Al. Can't wait for any more mu- new music as well. Yeah, definitely. Cool, see you later. Here we go, Big River.